I've come to learn Chinese in China. Where else? Beijing. Huh? It's not? Then Shanghai. What? There's surely no other cities in China, right? Kunming. Yes, the mountainous rural landscape of Kunming, China. Peaceful and quiet, enriched with culture. And no, it doesn't look like this. It looks like this. Truly a city for everyone. A mixture of downtown nightlife with high-rise skylines combined with natural mountainous landscapes. Here's my day in the life of being a student in maybe my favorite city, Kunming, China. Keats, eighth floor in this building. All right, yeah. I've come to this school for about a week where I'll be learning Chinese. Yeah, hopefully, uh, this is the right place. Oh, hello, hi, you're Chrissy? Yes. Okay, oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How many um, students are here? About 20. 20, oh. Okay. All right, perfect. Hello. Not this one, right? Not this one. <laughs> this one? Oh, okay. This is the key. Okay, the keys. All right, okay, so I'll just uh, get settled and I'll let you know when I'm ready. All right. Ah, yeah. Yes. All right, thank you very much, Chrissy, then. Thank you. Yeah. Look at this, then. This is nice. Got a, got a microwave, a sink, some goodies. What's this? T-shirt. I love Keats, the name of the school. Is it like a passport or something? What's this? What is this? Oh, <laughs> you got my student ID or something like that. All right, cool. Um, got my schedule. So yeah, we're gonna have lunch. Seems got some um, got some lessons tomorrow. All right, awesome. Right, great. Okay, settled in. Now I'm gonna go for a little tour. Oh, here she is. Oh, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> okay, right. So we're gonna so go for our tour now. I have a tour to yeah. the uh, campus. Perfect. All right. This is the canteen. Okay. Yeah. You can have a look. Oh, okay. What's this? Is this like a, a bar? Yes. Uh, for coffee and tea. No alcohol? <laughs> yes, no alcohol. <laughs> okay. This is the library. The library? Yes, the library. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, is this like the, the dining room? Yes. And you can have meals and all the students will have their meals. Perfect. Alright, this place is actually pretty big. I've been to some uh, Chinese schools in Shanghai and they're absolutely tiny, maybe a couple of classrooms or something. There's like 20? How many classrooms are there here? About 39. 39? Yeah, How many teachers are there? Uh, 20. 20 teachers? Wow, okay, that's really good, okay. Can we go in? And she's uh, your teacher. Okay, uh, Lasha, how? I'm very happy. I'm Luca. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, our class is um, in a little bit, so about four hours of them, so yeah, I need to wake myself up. Um, and yeah, we'll begin the day soon. You can see this is the schedule for all of the classes, and I should be in this room. Room 25 is the teacher here. Ah, hello, hello, hello. Today's class is what? Today's class has three lessons. The first lesson is our Chinese lesson. The first lesson is I will give you some words. 这些句子是中文的，但是是错的句子。第二个是一个话题，第三个就是我们今天的新课，三个语法。好，所以我们刚才学习了，并且我,我想问一问你，你你觉得为什么他们都选择来昆明学习中文，不去北京或者不去上海这些大城市？用并且吗？对，是因为啊，天气这么好。<笑>对，人，上海天气非常不好，啊<笑>、呃，并且会说英语的中国中国人也不多，那真的不多。<笑>对，可以，嗯，其他地的中文很多，所以有一个好的中文环境。嗯，对对。All right, now we're gonna go for the next class. We've got a new teacher. Is she here? Yes, she is. Ah,、oh, 老师好，你好，今天怎么样？今天，嗯，还不错。还不错啊，太棒了。So this class is a little bit different. Instead of learning grammar and some boring things, now we get to write some Chinese characters and how to do it correctly. So it's quite interesting. And then after the class, all of the students we get to have some fun. Every weekend there is a big group trip with all of the students where we'll go somewhere special 
in Yunnan. So we went to the Stone Forest Park and it is absolutely gigantic, really beautiful. It is a UNESCO heritage site. So we just spent, you know, pretty much a whole day there just traveling around. We had um, some locals tell us all of the facts and things like this here. We had some lunch, really amazing. And yeah, each weekend it'll be a different type of trip that we'll go to. So it's really fun. It's not just studying, studying, studying. There's so many activities that we can do at this school. Yeah, so at this school, we have so many people from around the world. We've got a couple of people here now. We've got Laura and Philip. Hey guys, how are you? Hi. Right. So we've got uh, from Germany and the US, right? So why... Oh. <laughs> nearly walked into someone. Okay, so why on earth did you come all the way f from the US and Germany to Kunming to learn Chinese? Yeah, I've heard many good things about the school in Kunming. Yeah, yeah. So my girlfriend recommended the school to me. Okay. She did some research and yeah, I've heard many good things about it online. And that's the reason I came to Kunming. The school looked good and it's actually really affordable in comparison to language courses in Beijing or Shanghai, for example. I got it. And for you? Uh, I started learning Chinese for three years, and by Chinese I mean Mandarin. Three years in university, but being surrounded by English speakers all the time isn't uh, as... I didn't get as much practice with the language as I wanted to, so I figured that going to China, and specifically going to Kunming, where there's so much culture, that's where I would really get to learn like, how to put my Chinese to use, and also learn about the culture here. Ah, oh, so, perfect. Okay, so how long are you both here for then? In, at the school, yeah. Uh, this is my second week. Okay, and so how long will you stay till? Like, uh, in total? Two months. Ah, for two months, and for you? Um, I'm staying three weeks in total. Yeah. So, two more weeks to go. Perfect, alright, well, good luck with your Chinese. Yes, thank right. you. Sure, sure. Cool, alright, let's have a look around. Wow, well, you can just see how beautiful it all is. Just gonna have a little walk around um, and enjoy the natural sceneries. <laughs> Now, as a thank you to my teachers, I want to get them a little gift. And you might be able to tell from the background with so many flowers around me that, yeah, I am at a flower market. And hey, I've got this little hat as well. I am at the biggest flower market in Asia. So, yeah, guys, a little fact for you. Kunming, they sell flowers to around 50 countries around the world. So that means if you've bought flowers from China, very highly likely that you got it from here. And that is because the climate in Yunnan is perfect for flowers. It's warm all year round, even in the winter. There's, you know, there's, it's quite warm. It's warm all year round. It doesn't really get too cold. We get a little bit of rain as well, so it's perfect. So the flowers here are super, super cheap, I've heard. We're gonna have a look around. Um, yeah, see what flowers I can get for my teachers, get some good deals. Um, and yeah, it is absolutely huge. There's a couple of floors. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Now look how nice these flowers are. They're all wrapped up and everything. Like surely these are gonna be expensive. Like in Shanghai, these would cost over a hundred RMB. Um, let's see, which which is going to be the most expensive? Let's see the red ones, I'll do it. Hey, this is how much? 23. 23, right? It's the highest. It's the highest. Huh? It's oh, so cheap, 20 RMB for that. I'll look at it, thank you. 20, oh my god, that's five times cheaper than you get in Shanghai. It really is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not one for flowers, but these are just so beautiful. Come on, you have so many. I like sunflowers, actually, but wow. Six R&B for, for one of these, like, bouquets of flowers. Or ten for two, which is, um, you know, that's cheaper than getting some water, a bottle of water. Jeez. Check it out, Xiaoqian. Ten Uh-huh. Uh, I want two. Two, 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 Oh, uh, Paid for R and B, super cheap. All right, see uh, All right, guys, leaving the market with all my flowers. Oh my god, there's so much. Uh, so I need to take this on the metro back with me. Uh, hopefully, the teachers like it because um, yeah, certain flowers have certain meanings in China. You've got to be a little bit careful. So flowers might be suitable for older people, some types. Um, some might be for funerals. Uh, others might be for weddings. Others might be for Mother's Day, for example. 
Um, and so yeah, specific ones have certain meanings. I don't want to you know, get the wrong type. But I asked my friends and she was like, yeah, get these ones. Be very satisfied, the teachers, so I'm gonna give them to them now. Um, yeah, you can just even see we're outside and there's still so many flower stalls everywhere. I mean, if there wasn't enough room <laughs> in the in the market. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really great day. We're gonna go back now. All right, guys, I got a little bit embarrassed wearing the flower hat. I didn't want to go out in public with that, so I, um, I've switched back to the normal one. So yeah, um, I'm gonna head back now. Before I do that, I'm going to use this. I'm gonna go downtown, get some dinner. Um, yeah, see what food we can get from there. Um, and then, yeah, give the flowers to the teacher later. We've got some events later uh, tonight. But yeah, this uh, e-bike, it's not mine, but it's like a shared one. So all I've got to do is, one moment, let me get my phone out. Um, yeah, I've got an Alipay. Scan it. Hopefully this will work. Da 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 da, loading, 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 loading. All right, it is open, cool. Super cheap this is, uh, just a few RMB each time, and then yeah, we're good to go. Um, and this is just a, such a great way of uh, traveling the city. Quick way, isn't it? Um, I don't always like getting the metro because it can be a little bit busy, but this is, uh, this is nice. All right, we're good. We've got to be super careful though, guys, because you get all sorts of people coming the wrong way. You get people like coming onto the roads um, without looking. Um, you get lots of people on their phones. You've got this guy in front of me actually on his phone, I think, right now. Let me show you if I can catch up to him. Oh, naughty guy, naughty boy. <laughs> um, okay, we've got a little traffic light here. We just take a breather. Um, so yeah, it's one thing I like about uh, these smaller cities actually. So in Shanghai, Beijing, the big cities, you don't have e-bikes, you just have regular uh, push bikes, which are good, it's a good exercise, but it's just, um, if you want to go somewhere far, and you want to go, you know, want to be somewhere quick, so much better. I and mean, it goes pretty quick, you know, pretty good. But they, they don't provide a helmet, which is, uh, be, like I said, it's a little bit dangerous. So someone's behind me trying to get past. Um, so yeah, it'd be better if they could give you a helmet or something. It'd be more safer. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's flip the camera around and show you where we're at. I think we're going straight ahead. All right, cool, so just finished dinner, gonna head back now. And I tell you what, this downtown area of Kunming is really, really cool. You've got uh, lots of shopping malls. The Bolian Plaza, um, yeah, I don't know. You've got um, one over there as well. You've got a few over here. Might have a little look really, just take it all in like the, the nightlife of Kunming. It's super lively, really good fun. Uh, lots of bars and stuff like that. Why are there all these frogs as well? There's so many, fr um, <laughs> these guys dressed up as frogs. You've got one guy sitting down over there. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My guts. Uh, oh, they're just like selling the, the, the balloons or something to the kids. This is really nice. Hey, another frog. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, what was I saying? So yeah, there are all of these are uh, shopping malls. Um, and you've got like some for, for different purposes. So you might have maybe some sports ones. There's like one with like Nike. Um, what's that? Ur Urban Reviver? I don't know. Um, yeah, and then this one might be more luxury, something like that. Or you might have like a food mall. So really, God, there's just so much to do in the downtown area. Really fun. And um, I guess there'll be lots of uh, bars and stuff as well. So um, yeah, this is definitely the place to be. And yeah, there's so many uh, street food vendors as well. Oh, who's this guy? Little singer. <laughs> he's got all the oh, he's got all the setup, hasn't he? He's got like the lyrics and stuff as well. Oh, he's, yeah, he's live streaming for Douyin. Hello. <laughs> Very nice. He's a good singer. Um, yeah. So you got all of these yeah, street foods things, which I was telling you about before. Um, I've just eaten though, so I shouldn't really be going here, should I? <laughs> oh, I'll be get, get too fat otherwise. Let's see, what kind of stuff have they got? What have they got? I imagine this would be really cheap though. Um, it was a bit expensive, the place I went to. Oh, not for me, chicken feet. A very, uh, <laughs> yeah, Chinese thing. Um, well, it's not all food. Get like uh, phone cases, little gifts. So I guess it's like a tourist place as well. It's so busy, jeez. I mean, I was saying earlier, right? It's uh, quite a quiet city. It is. <laughs> but if you want to do go to some busy places, you can as well. So it's not like you're in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing to do. <laughs> you, can, you can go to some peaceful places, but you can also find places like this. 
Uh, I imagine, yeah, lots of bars, clubs, uh, things like that as well. So you can really have any kind of life you want, I suppose, uh, here. So for sure, recommend Kunming, guys. Come, come, come. And oh my god, I've just seen the craziest. Oh my god, look. <laughs> look at these little scorpions. I've, I've only heard about this, um, but I've never seen it. I've heard about you know, Chinese um, markets might have insects, but I've never seen it. Never. <laughs> but apparently it's like a specialty um, in Yunnan, uh, this province. You go, oh, what, what is that? Is that um, like one of those larvae bugs or whatever? Oh, you've got um, crickets. Oh my god. Maggots, is that as well? And have they are like frying it as well? Jeez. There's no way I'm trying that, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I'd love to try new things um, for, for the content, for the camera, but <laughs> definitely not that. That is too far. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, good for protein, apparently, but ooh, yeah, I don't know. It seems quite popular. There are a few people there just munching on it. I mean, I think it is just something to try shortly like oh yeah I've, I've had an insect but surely it's not just a snack like you're just gonna have crisps or something you wouldn't just like be munching on them at work surely not come on but well, I don't know these guys must really like it so may maybe it is really tasty yeah. all right so I've gone for um, I don't know it's kind of like a hot pot I suppose um, just for yourself though so you've got um, all these veggies, you've got some uh, noodles there as well. Um, I've got some meat come in, so I'm waiting for that um, whilst this will start to boil. All right, so let's try this then. Get some beef, uh, put it in the sauce, uh, and then we'll test it out. Mm. Not too bad, not the best, not the worst. I'll take it. I mean, there were so many options around here. It's a really great place uh, for restaurants. Um, there's, yeah, like I said, there's a little market as well if you want to get street foods. Um, and you've got some, yeah, Western places as well. Um, and then, yeah, Chinese foods, you've got Korean food, Japanese. There you go, you got endless supply of restaurants. So it is really, really great. Hmm. They even give you. Let me uh, get this. Milk tea. Mm. That is really tasty as well. Mm. So, yeah, as I uh, finish all of this. Um, I will yeah, head back to the school after this and yeah I've, it's quite a busy day to be honest because I've got some uh, more events or a couple more events uh, later on which I'll show you um, so yeah, it's going to finish like a 10 or 11 p.m. it's not always like that but um, yeah for today it is so it's pretty good you know and it's not just Chinese lessons you can go out you can explore uh, you can get tour guides showing you around the city and then there'll be some cultural events in the evening uh, which you can attend or if you don't want to you can just go by yourself and do whatever you want. So every night there'll be different types of activities at this centre. This is one night where we'll be doing some tie-dye painting. You can see, really, really cool and beautiful. And then another night we'll be doing some traditional Chinese painting. And it's actually really difficult. You've got the teacher here teaching us the stroke order and everything. I mean, look how beautiful some of these guys paintings were really really impressive like, look at that really colorful and nice and then you have me which is just like what am i doing what, what am i meant to be doing here oh, i have no idea nah it was good fun and in the end i made something okay but nowhere as impressive as some of the other students but really enjoyed it so it's not just about teaching it's about learning some of the culture too and then to mark off the day i told you i was gonna do this <laughs> Uh Wow, okay, so because I've studied here for sixteen hours this week, I get this certificate. Great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Cool. Bam! So there we go then, guys. Graduated from Keats School in Kunming, China. Honestly, I've been to so many Chinese language schools, they just don't make the cut. This one is definitely the best one I have been to. Really, really professional. There's so much to do, so much experience and culture that you can all try out. So, 
if you want to do this, I recommend it. Use my referral link. They gave me a referral link because I was like, hey, you're on YouTube. Um, why don't you give that? And then we'll give you something uh, in return if anyone signs up. Uh, and then, yeah, you can use my promo code and I'll give you a 300 RMB discount on any lessons. So go for it, you know, might as well try it out. And yeah, thank you so much, guys, for, for watching the video. There'll definitely be more to, to follow this as well. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.